Hello YouTube, Intuitive Edge. So I was going to do another celebrity spotlight, but um, in looking at the issue I wanted to talk about, I decided to do a video about the issue and not so much about a specific person, that being Jerry Nadler. I was going to take a look at him, but it's more about the issue that he's currently um, bringing about with uh, being on the House committees. Um, committee. He is looking at looking into President Trump even further, um, doing more of a probe. And so um, this is actually really frustrating for me. Um, I, I laid out some cards and I just, then I just, I reshuffled and I laid them out again. I reshuffled. It's like, I don't, it's, it's hard for me to get my head straight around this because it, it's such a frustrating issue to watch that just to see the disunity and the discord and just the unrelenting nonstop barrage against the president of the United States. I mean, he's been under a two and a half year investigation. Now y'all might have to pardon me. I might just, I might just sit here and vent this whole video. We'll find out. But I mean, he's been under two and a half plus years of thorough investigation. And I did um, a reading on the Mueller report way back when, right after it first started. And I really felt like they were leaving no stone unturned. It was, it was thorough. They were going to be meticulous. And so they've gone through just about everything already. But no, 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 that's not good enough for these Democrats in the House. And how can people not see this as politically motivated? You know, do do we just assume, oh, these Democrats really want what's best for the country? And they're really, you don't think that that they might have ulterior motives or that they might have a different agenda that's behind this? I just I just don't see how this moves the country forward. I don't see how this helps in any way, shape, or form. You know, M Mueller was supposed to be the be all end all. Oh my gosh, Mueller's gonna get Trump. Well, that seems to be falling apart, but he did his job. He did what he was assigned to do and more, it looks like. But no, that's not good enough now. So I so I came down here to do this video and I just, I am so frustrated. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if I should, you know, if I can be clear enough headed to do this and be fair about it because I'm, I'm just, it's so upsetting. It's so frustrating to watch, to think that, you know, poor President Trump. I mean, I feel sorry for the guy. I do. I mean, he's already been through this long enough. It's like enough already. Let the guy do his job. So, so you don't like him. So what? So, so he won the election and you're mad about it. Okay. You know, <laughs> he's, he's got a couple of years left in this term. You know, we're, how do, how do, how does, how does Washington even function being this toxic? How do they function? I mean, we have, we have people that are corrupt as all get out way more than Trump ever dreamed of being, if he is. Um, I mean, we've got pay for play. We've got people taking kickbacks and bribes, you know, people, you know, a little hush money under the table and, ooh, I won't tell and I'll kick back some to you when I'm in office. And I, you know, this is rampant, rampant. And somehow President Trump, the new guy on the block comes in and now he's the bad guy. Because, you know, maybe he was kicking ass and taking names and they don't like it. I don't know, but <sighs> what a toxic environment. I, I, I feel for anybody, any good person, if there are any, and I'm sure there are. I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just a little fatigued with all this. But, you know, these people that go with altruistic motives and they get elected and they go to serve in Washington, holy cow. I mean, you, you have to wear bulletproof vest, a spiritual bulletproof vest. And you have to have your head on a swivel and know that people are going to sweet talk you out one side of their face and stab you in the back 
when you walk out of the room. I mean, it's, it's cutthroat back there. It kind of makes me glad I'm on the West Coast, although <laughs> it's not that much better here, I guess, but at least it's not... I'm in the other Washington, okay? <laughs> I'm not in Washington, D.C., thank goodness. I don't know if I could handle it there. I think the, the oppressive energy of that place would drive me nuts. It's driving me nuts, and I'm, I'm over here a couple thousand miles away. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I had to vent there. I, I just, I look at this, and I'm like, what is, what is going on? You know, does, does President Trump, does he get a moment's rest? before these barrage of attacks of these unhappy, angry Democrats that can't, for whatever reason, deal with the fact that he's the president and they're not. They're not king of the road right now. So I did lay out some cards and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what's out, what the cards say. And I'm, my brain is like <laughs> so frustrating. All right. Okay. So what I got, what I asked was, we're just looking at this next round of um, inquisition against President Trump from the Democrats. What's this all about? You know, what's the outcome? All that past, present. So let's see what the cards are. First card is the Eight of Wands reversed. This is on the issue. This is a card about things happening quickly, but when it's reversed, it can be like, things aren't happening as fast as we want. Not happening as quickly as we want. The energy crossing that is the struggle card, conflict. It's also reversed. So we've got two reversals. Things like just the frantic energy not happening quick enough, fighting contro for control, conflict, vying for control. So that's what's going, that's the core issue. That's what's going on. Then up above, what's, what's kind of overview this whole thing, what we know, we have the seven of cups reverse. This is a card of almost overwhelm, too many choices. And this is like a, almost a chaotic feel with it when it's reversed. Like so many choices, so much going on. Where where do we start? What do we do? Frantic. I, I feel like this frantic energy <laughs> when I feel into this. And maybe that's why, maybe that's why I had to vent a little because I'm feeling this energy as I'm as I'm pulling up these cards. It's like this energy of the. Ugh. It's the whole package. It's not just the, the cards. It's 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 everything that that comes when I when I come down here and I light the candle and I pray and I focus on an issue. It's like that whole issue consumes me. I feel it. And that's I think what I'm feeling. And that's why it's frustrating me because I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like what I'm feeling. I don't like this energy. I don't like this. It's toxic. That's what I'm reacting to, I think, is that that toxic energy that that just consumes people and that vicious, vitriolic, vile energy too that goes with it. Like we have to get Trump. It's like that franticness. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm realizing? This isn't me, this isn't my stuff. This is me feeling into all this. <laughs> that's that's the, the world of an empath, right? For those of you that are empaths, you know, sometimes you just, you, you get like angry and cranky or you, you feel like all of a sudden you're sad and you just want to cry. It's not always hormones. Okay. For those of us who are women, <laughs> sometimes you're feeling, you're picking up stuff. You're picking up energy from people around you. You're picking up energy from where you work. You know, you go to work and your boss is cranky and you bring that home and you're feeling it and then you take it out on people at home it's the same thing it's feeling that energy so so i'm going to like do a complete debrief <laughs> at the end of this and i'm going to be back to my happy self when this is done i'm going to light a candle i'm going to pray and then i have to go sing because i'm a semi 
professional singer for those who didn't know that. <laughs> and you probably didn't know that because I've never said that. But yes, I sing. So I'm going to have a sort of a practice tonight. So I have to leave for that in about a half hour. So by then I will decompress and I will let this all go. Let it go. <laughs> Should I continue? Let's continue. There's a few cards left on the table here. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my sanity, right? Ah, okay. So next card. This is kind of what's, uh, what's led up to this. We have the nine of swords reversed. Nine of swords, worry, anxiety, panic, fear, um, fr extreme frustration. Reversed means it's compounded. It's, it's double that feeling. And that's what's underneath, that's kind of what's led up to this. This frustration of, oh my God, the Mueller thing is not panning out. And we still have to keep this, this narrative going that Trump is this horrible person. So let's get on it. <laughs> Next card. Uh, the past. We have the Page of Swords. Messenger. This is about being mentally sharp, mentally acute, being fully aware of what's going on. Interesting that would be fading into the background. Like, this is like fighting, like like the, the, the image with this sword. And he's ready to just clear out the clutter, the mental confusion and clutter. And the energy's like pulling back, like what are we fighting against now? Working through that conflict, we move into the future position, which is the Ace of Wands. What do we have coming up? Ace of Wands. This is a card of creative energy moving forward. New beginnings. So, I mean, there, there may be some teeth to this crazy attack mode against POTUS. Um, now, for the president, I have him as the sus bleh, suspended person. This is the hanged man card. This is being kind of in between both worlds, like being hung up. It's also the card of sacrifice, having to give up something to gain something. So the president may actually be faced with what, how to deal with this, how to navigate this, what to, what to give up in order to move forward with his agenda and what he wants. He might have to juggle and shift some things around in himself and in his schedule to account for all of this. Next, we have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is a card of introspection, looking within seeing what what can take place what can happen looking at your motives looking at your own self kind of it's kind of like the soul searching card looking within that's in the greater environment the greater environment of what's going on in the field around that's that introspection that digging deeper Next, we have the Four of Pentacles on the reversal. This is in like, what, what do we wish for, or hope for? Or what are we worried about happening? And this is like losing control. Four of Pentacles all about grabbing onto what's mine and hanging on. And this is worried about losing everything. I dare say, I think that's part of the motive too behind this is fear of losing even more control. And then the outcome card for President Trump. I do have the Empress. Empress card is a nurturing card. It's a healing card. Perhaps with it being reversed, which it was, that can mean needing to nurture yourself and take time for yourself. Um, President Trump probably needs 
some extra taking time out, you know, taking needed rest, getting, getting enough sleep, taking care of himself. That's a heavy burden when, when you have not only legal and all kinds of scrutiny, but it, in a, in a way it's a psychic attack as well because of the hatred behind it. And it's important for him to take care of himself. So, but moving forward, having that nurture card is, is nice. So hopefully, hopefully this will settle out and the president will be okay from these attacks. Underneath, we have the Sun card. It's also reversed, but the Sun card showing up anywhere is always a favorable sign. So perhaps things will smooth out with this whole debacle, this mess. So it's hard as an intuitive to not sometimes let things like this <laughs> get, get me down. So, because I, I feel that energy, you know, when I tune into Donald Trump, you know, I can feel, I can feel these attacks. I can feel what it feels like. And uh, I know those of you who are empaths know that too. So it's really important to cleanse our space and to focus on positive things, affirmations, being positive. And uh, having things around that make you happy. <laughs> Doing smudging, that's a good thing to do. Crystals, prayers, candles, any of that can help. <laughs> All right, I think I've rambled on enough with this one. I just had to get that off my chest. I appreciate you uh, not minding me vent a little bit in this one. <laughs> All right, I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys are wonderful. Um, thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. I'll do another video when I'm much more hopefully clear headed and hopefully maybe I'll, I'll tackle an issue that isn't so involved <laughs> and doesn't have such toxic energy with it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.